Hello. It is about time that I came on here and spoke on this platform. So if you're unaware, there have been protests across the United States in over 2,000 cities with 15 to 26 million people participating, some of which have been going on for over 80 days at the time that I filmed this. According to the New York Times, the current Black Lives Matter movement may be the biggest human rights movement in United States history. The protests aren't unique to America, however. They have occurred in every continent except Antarctica, and over 60 countries have held protests in honor of George Floyd and against police brutality. These protests started with the murder of George Floyd by the Minneapolis Police Department on May 25th, 2020, and have focused on the disproportionate violence that black and brown communities face from the people who are supposed to serve and protect them. Police brutality in America, especially against black communities, is nothing new. A quote from the Smithsonian reads, In 1929, the Illinois Association for Criminal Justice published the Illinois Crime Survey. Conducted between 1927 and 1928, the survey sought to analyze causes of high crime rates in Chicago and Cook County, and also provided data on police activity. Although African Americans made up just 5% of the area's population, they constituted 30% of the victims of police killings. It goes on to say that 233 African Americans were shot and killed by police in 2016, a startling number when demographics are considered. African Americans make up 13% of the U.S. population but account for 24% of people fatally shot by the police. According to the Washington Post, black people are 2.5 times as likely as white Americans to be shot and killed by police officers. It needs to change. Why is this important? Why should it matter to you? Why should it matter in the furry community? As much as people try to claim that the furry community is an escape from real life, the fact is that we are all real people with real lives and experiences first, and members of the furry community second. Not everyone has the privilege of leaving everything at the door to pretend to be a fluffy animal. And privilege doesn't mean that your life is easy. It means that the color of your skin, your gender identity, your sexuality are not things that make your life more difficult. If you can go about your day not having to keep up to date with the protests or human rights movements, if you can live your life not worrying about any interaction with a police officer for fear of being killed, then you have privilege. If you have enough privilege to be annoyed by the Black Lives Matter movement, to be annoyed by seeing ways to help under viral tweets, to have to maneuver your day around the protests, to be able to complain about politics and the furry fandom, then you need to realize that other people do not have that privilege. People here in this community cannot go about their lives in the same normalcy that you may have. Based on a study that's pulled its data from almost 100 million traffic stops between 2001 and 2017, the likelihood of being stopped by police is 20% higher for black drivers. Proportionally, the death rate for black individuals killed by police is much higher than that of white Americans. If you would like to see more statistics on police violence, I would suggest you check out mappingpoliceviolence.org and the Washington Post's Police Shootings Database. Both will be linked down in the description under source number six. Well, what can you do? If you would like more information about how to fight police brutality, you can check out 8 Can't Wait. 8 Can't Wait is a guide on steps that your local governments can take towards police reform. The policies in 8 Can't Wait are ban chokeholds and strangleholds, require de-escalation, require warning before shooting, require exhausting all alternatives before shooting, duty to intervene, ban shooting at moving vehicles, require use of force continuum, and require comprehensive reporting. To find out more about each policy, visit acantwait.org and check to see which, if any, of these policies have been enacted in your area. And if they haven't been, then there's a way on that site to contact your local government and demand change. Also keep in mind that it is not enough to just not be racist. You have to be anti-racist. Black Lives Matter is more than just a hashtag. 
It's a commitment to being anti-racist. It's not enough to put Black Lives Matter in your Twitter bio or add hashtag BLM to the end of a tweet and say that you've done your part. Black Lives Matter is not a trend and will matter even after it's no longer viral. If you see something, call it out. Demand a better, more accountable community. Don't accept ooh woo, no politics as a justification for an inherently unjust status quo. Talk to your friends and family. Do not let people that you care about continue to live their lives under racism. You can't change everyone's mind, but you can at least try. Correct people. Do research and educate yourself so that you can better educate others. And if you think that it's not a big enough deal to, to take this step, then understand that you have the privilege to ignore it. But silence is complicit. Silence is murder. Please speak out. I also encourage you to read Martin Luther King Jr.'s Letter from Birmingham Jail. I will link it in the description. It is a letter where he talks about needing to take direct action for justice when the courts may take forever on their own. In it, he states, We know through painful experience that freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed. I understand it is taking a stand against injustice when the system is not just. If we do nothing, then nothing changes. Please give it a read, it is very eye-opening. If you have some cash to spare, another way to help is to donate. You can donate to local organizations. Research some reputable organizations in your area that are helpful to the movement. Call or email your politicians, local, state, and national. Say that you support the Black Lives Matter movement and push for eight can't wait and demand a better system and support for black communities. Support by POC artists, musicians, YouTubers, and other creators inside and outside of the community. Push for a better representation of BIPOC within our community. Thank you for sticking around and watching this video. I encourage you to check out the sources in the description and educate yourself on hundreds of years of oppression against black communities. Learn what racism is and call it out when you see it. One of the easiest things that you can do that would be a tremendous help is listen. Just listen. Listen to black voices. Listen to Black stories. Listen to Black struggles. Don't ignore it or tune it out just because you're tired of hearing it. Listen. Black lives matter. They always have and they always will. Thank you.